Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the Mickey Mouse Funhouse. This is the amount of space required to make your build. Feel free to build this grid in your world. If you do feel so, it will help you out. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Begin by working your way to the front left hand corner of the grid, if you've made it. From the corner, count right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then inwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the starting position. Begin by placing two light grey concrete on top of each other. 1, 2. Then 10 light blue concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We then want to extend left but then also up we now want to repeat this six times let me show you so we want to go right and up so that's one right up two three four five six so we want to end up with this shape we then want to take the lower of these two blocks that we have here and we want to extend right and down and we want to do that six times as well we basically want to have the exact same thing that we have on the left so one two three four five and then, as a matter of fact, as we can see on the left side, we can't do this one more time. So we will simply extend this block to the right. And then we will extend this lower block down to the ground. Or, at the very least, close to it. As we want the bottom two blocks to be light grey. So, to see... If we have made this correctly, all we have to do is make sure that that left side is even and level with the right side, which it is. Next, we are going to connect the bottom of the build together using light grey concrete. We just want to connect those bottom two rows. Once we have done that, we want to begin work on outlining the roof. So what I mean by that is I want you to grab your red concrete and I want you to place red concrete underneath the two overhanging light blue concretes that we have on the left and right sides. And I want you to place red concrete surrounding the light blue, if that makes sense. This will be easier to grasp once you've actually seen me do it, but the idea is to kind of just encapsulate the blue with the red, like so. We also want to stick the center block up at the top like this. And then we want to have a layer of yellow hanging off of the red layer. So just directly in front of it, we just want to extend this forwards using the yellow. So that looks pretty good. The next thing that we are going to do is add some detail to the funhouse. So the easiest way to kind of do this really is to grab your light blue concrete and where we have the light blue concrete that sticks out a little bit on the sides, we want to extend that inwards by two blocks. One, two. Let's do this on both sides. One, two. We then want to place white concrete on the insides of the blue. And then we want to place black concrete on the insides of the white. Green concrete on top of the black. And then surround the green concrete using white, like this. And this will form the eye section. Underneath the eyes, we want to place a row of light blue concrete that joins both sides together, like this. 
Underneath the light blue concrete, we want to have another row of light blue that is one row shorter on both sides. Now, behind the light blue concrete row, we want to place a row of magenta and extend the magenta out left by two and also right by two. Underneath the three center blocks of the magenta, we're going to place pink concrete and extend those left and right by two using magenta. From the front, we will have a nice, happy, smiling face. Now, all we have to do from this point, and we do require a little bit more detail on the front, but I think that we will, as a matter of fact, we might, might as well finish the front whilst we're here, but... I want to fill in the entire front of the build using light blue concrete and then we will add the door and the small window that exists on the front as well. Uh, I was going to wait until later to do it but we're kind of on a roll with the front here. Anyway, I also want to point out that you want to leave the mouth alone. So like with the light blue concrete, you don't want to cover up any of the magenta or the pink that we have placed. Perfect. First of all, I would recommend adding a couple of rows of light gray concrete extending out from the bottom of the house. The first row of light gray concrete is just to make the house high enough so that it's not just sat on the ground. And the second row is where the actual bottom of the house begins. And this is a little porch area. So taking this bottom left hand corner light gray concrete, we want to count to the right. One, two, three. Now in front of this block, we want to place a sideways smooth quartz stair. On top of that, a smooth quartz block. On top of that, a sideways smooth quartz stair, and then an upside down stair inside of it. Smooth quartz slab on top, extend right by two, one, two. We then want to place an upside down quartz stair underneath this with a sideways stair to the right. Smooth quartz block underneath, with then a sideways smooth quartz stair underneath that. We're going to dig out the center of this area and place a door in the middle, red concrete surrounding the door, and then a button left of the door, like this. Now, leaving a gap of one, we want to destroy this light gray concrete here, place a, an upside down birch stair, destroy two blocks above, and there we will have the door. So that is looking pretty good. Next, we are going to add some more shape to the house. So I'm just going to grab the yellow concrete and the light blue. Let's come to the bottom right side of the house now. And once again, we're not going to be working with the base. We're actually going to be working with the light gray concrete just up above here. I want you to extend this backwards by two using light gray. One, two. Then extend that light gray outwards by three. One, two, three. Extend inwards by two, one, two, and then extend to the right by one using light blue concrete. We then want to grab the white concrete and we want to place three white, one, two, three, and then light blue. We're then going to extend the light blue backwards by eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we want to extend the light blue inwards by one, two, three, four, five. And then two rows towards us, one, two. And then right by three, so one, two, three, like this. And then we want to grab the light gray concrete again and extend one, two rows towards us. And then extend the light gray to the right by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like this. We then want to extend the block, the 12 block, inwards by 2, 1, 2. Extend to the right by 2, 1, 2. Extend forwards by 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then extend inwards by 2, one, two, and then forwards. So, to give you an idea, this is what the shape will look like. The next thing that we have to do is we have to build up the back of the house. 
<laughs> the back of the house looks so goofy in comparison to the front at this point in time. So, <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> it may have been a mistake to make the front of the house first with the face because it looks a little bit goofy from the back. But the next thing that we are going to do is extend the sides of the house backwards a little bit. We'll just start off with the first row. As we want to essentially copy the shape of the front of the house directly onto the back of the house. So if we just extend the bottoms backwards and then it would actually help us a little bit to extend some of the pivotal points of the front of the house to the back. So like these sticky out light blue corners will help us build the shape of the back a little bit. Because once we've kind of got that mapped out, we know that we are able to easily just extend the light blue concrete blocks inwards and upwards. And if we just do it from both sides, kind of like at an even pace, that will easily allow us to make the back of the house nice and simple. And we even want to have the same decoration on the back. So what I mean by that is, as a matter of fact, that's that's even a little bit wrong, isn't it? So we have to add an additional row of light blue here and here as well. Always check your work. There we go. That's perfect. That lines up, doesn't it? Perfect. Okay, well, on the sides of the frame of the back of the house, we want to add an extra row of red concrete that kind of like surrounds the blue concrete. This is the exact same thing that we did on the front of the build. We just kind of want to wrap it all around. And then we want to add yellow concrete directly in front of the red concrete. And of course, it wants to stick up at the top as well. That's a little detail that we shouldn't forget. And once we've done that, we have actually successfully made the back of the house. All that we have to do is just fill it in, really. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So for this next part, all we have to do is connect the front and the house together using light blue concrete. We only have to fill the sides of the walls in using light blue concrete. We'll do this on the left side, the right side, and then the back side. And once we have done that, we simply just have to connect the roof together front to back. All we have to use for this is red concrete, and you only have to fill the outer rows of red concrete in as well so you don't have to extend every single block backwards and once you have finished extending the roof and extending the walls and just filling them all in we will be left with a pretty sizable part of the house complete the next part that we will work on is the right side of the house so I'm going to begin by placing a row of seven light blue concrete on top of this outward corner of light grey concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to extend this back and join it down to this corner light blue concrete block. We can then extend this and connect it to the center part of the house, just like so. And on the front, we can do a similar thing, except for the fact that we want to leave a little window. The window is positioned two blocks from the top. So one, two, drop this down and just destroy a little single block. I'm pretty sure it's in that position. We can always change it if need be. And then we have to build up the side of this part of the house like a pyramid. So we literally want to take the top uh, the top row of light blue concrete and we want to add another row on top of it and leave it one row shorter on both sides and we want to do this and we want to keep repeating this until eventually we hit a point where we can only add the one additional block now once we've done that we want to place a row of yellow concrete in front of the top of the light blue and extend that one row outwards and then add red concrete inside of this and then up right up right up right up right up right up right up so essentially what we're doing is we're just adding red concrete on the sides of the light blue like so we'll just extend it and join it and connect it back to the roof like this perfect and we want to do the same on the back so we'll add a row of yellow concrete extending forwards and just hanging off and then red concrete 
just kind of on the outside of the light blue. And then we just want to extend the red concrete and join it to the house like this. Perfect. So that will look pretty good. And from the front, you can see that everything just connects together rather nicely. Well, the next part is this little bit of blue area here. So first of all, let's just raise up the white concrete area. We'll add another row on top, add the center block and extend it upwards. We then want to, this area is essentially just kind of like a square. There's no triangle. So we'll extend the corner here up by one, two, three, four. And then we just want to extend this back, join it down to the back corner, extend it inwards like this, and join it to where the house would be. So we've not filled in this inside wall using light blue concrete yet, but if this wall was to be here, then we could join the light blue concrete to it. And we just have to fill all of the sides of this in as well, just using the light blue, just like this. Add rows here and there where need be. The back needs filling in with light blue, just like this. Perfect. And now that we've done that, we're going to add a row of yellow concrete around the top of the light blue, like this. Add a row of red concrete on top of the light blue. So, on top of the row that we added yellow to the outside of. And then all we have to do is just fill the center of this in using red concrete. So just at the top, one row higher, we just want to have the red concrete, just like this. And now that we've done that, we could add the slide, which I'm thinking that we might do, actually. So we're going to grab orange concrete and come up to the top of the roof section here on the side. And we want to find this specific red concrete block here. So the back corner of the top part of the roof. Move one row forwards and extend one, two, three orange concretes out from the red concrete. We then want to place to the right and down diagonally two orange concretes. And then extend right by four. One, two, three, four. Forwards. One, two, three, four left by one and then we want to extend the orange concrete down and left diagonally by four so just like this this will then connect down to light gray concrete which is going to sit around the outside of the house so the, for the majority of the house we will have two rows of light gray concrete that kind of just extends round um, kind of just like a bit of a decking area like this. We'll add it properly later, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what it will look like. And the orange concrete here, we're not done. We want to add orange concrete all the way around on the inside and the outside above uh, above and around the center of the slide. So let, let me explain better. So you can kind of see it now though. So the center part that we have just added is the slide with all of the diagonals. We want to add orange concrete that goes all the way around the edge of this on the inside and the outside like so. And we will end up with two parallel rows of orange and hopefully that's quite easy to uh, easy to add, right? I mean, hopefully you can see quite simply how, how that kind of just like wraps around the orange. And that is quite simply just a slide of which there are two that we're going to be placing. So that is the first one, of course. And the next one is going to be on the opposite side of the house. And we have actually completed the entire right side of the house, ladies and gentlemen. Let's add a little bit more light grey decking going around the house. As I mentioned, for the majority of this, for the fun house, there is just simply two rows of light grey kind of just extending outwards from the bottom of the house. Well... Um, on the front of the house, it changes a little bit. There is a bit more of a porch, and we'll actually have to make like an overhang for the porch as well, but that'll be just in a in a little second once we've kind of like got to that part. We're going to focus on the left side of the build now, of which we have to add a little bit of an extension. Okay, so first of all, we already have this mapped out a little bit. I want you to place a row of seven yellow concrete extending upwards on these outward corner blocks. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. We can then place a layer of light blue concrete in between. So this can be on the sides of the shape that we've just made. So this will connect back to the house, but the outward face of this shape can also just be filled in using light blue concrete also. So we'll just extend this all the way up to the top, like so. That is looking pretty good. So on the sides of this, we want to have yellow concrete that extends out on the left and right sides. It wants to overhang the structure by one row. Add yellow concrete extending inwards, and then place red concrete on top of the extended in yellow concrete, and we then want to just extend the red concrete up and in until eventually it will reach together in the center and will kind of like just hit an apex like so. And the red concrete we are going to join in and hit the actual center of the house and we're going to extend the tops so that it joins the roof sort of naturally like this i'm just making sure that we've got no blocks left that is per oh as a matter of fact <laughs> this we're going to change the red underneath the roof into light blue my bad but it's okay we just have to destroy a little bit of uh a little bit of red but um we just want to have something there we go we just want to have something that should look like that and hopefully that just naturally just it looks quite natural is what i'm trying to say and failing to so once we have done this we want to grab the yellow concrete and we want to on the sides underneath the roof find the one two three the third yellow concrete block and we want to extend outwards by one two and then we're going to extend across, join back, fill the bottom of this little balcony in using red concrete, place yellow concrete on the two corners, grab birch fence, and place birch fence in between the yellow concrete, it's like this. And there we will have a little balcony. Now, once we have created this, little balcony we want to add a slide to it which is going to be made out of blue concrete so now that we've got our blue concrete the slide itself starts on the center of the house so we find the center birch fence here you can line this up with this little pitch of the roof and we want to extend a row of one two three four five six seven eight blue concrete extending out from the side extend forwards left forwards by two one two we then want to extend down and forwards diagonally one two using the blue concrete then we want to extend to the right one forwards right by four one two three four in right in by two one two we then want to extend down and backwards diagonally one two and then we are going to extend inwards, one, out one, and then left by four, one, two, three, four, and then in, left, and then we want to extend forwards by two, one, two, and then extend down into the ground. The second block extending into the ground will literally be into the ground. So. If we take a little look from above, you should see that it's, it kind of lines up with itself, if that makes sense, right? I, I think it does. Okay, so that's what we want to have. And we are going to now add blue concrete along the... So that is the center of the slide, right? Basically. Well, we want to add blue concrete around the edge of the side so around the left and right side we just want to add blue concrete and it'll end up looking I, d I want to kind of like it's it's uh, oftentimes it's easiest kind of like show you so there we go it looks rather natural there and we'll start at the bottom again we just add blue concrete just so that it just goes all the way around on both sides and if we were to run water through the slide which is the only way that we're going to get a functioning slide of any sort um, then 
the water does not fall out. So we want to have, and I want to make this a red concrete here, perfect. So there we go, that's that's looking pretty good, isn't it? So, so with us having shadows and with blue being quite a dark color, we can't see the slide that well, but we are going to extend the bottom of the slide out to take a few rows into the ground, and we'll also add sides to it like this. We might even just, we'll, we'll destroy this end row here, and we're going to run water through this, I think, just to make sure that everything works nicely. So, if we come up to the top here, we'll have a little stair where we placed the red earlier, and hopefully the water, we don't have to add too much water to get this to work. If we just make most of the top of this, so will the water flow? Okay, no. <laughs> okay, so we do have to add a little, a little bit of extra water. We just have to add enough water that um, we have a general trend. Yeah, okay, perfect. So, if we've made the slide correctly, we should be able to just kind of like flow. I think I've created like a little back current here. I have. Hang on, there we go. So, we should be able to get all the way down and around the slide. This would be a little bit better if uh, we didn't have to move ourselves for some of it, but once the current actually, like, takes us, it's actually pretty good. There we go. Okay, so the, it requires a little bit of movement on certain parts of the slide, but we shouldn't hit our head on this, and there we go. That's that's pretty good, and of course we can do that on the orange slide as well, if you, uh, if you want to. Um, we can, I, I know that that one works 100%, so we can destroy this here, and if we just drop this orange concrete here, and then just make it so that it looks nice like this, and then add orange. Oh, where's the, where did the stair block go? There we go, perfect. So we can add a stair here, water. Now, this one might not require any encouragement. This one, this, ah, oh, it does No. So, there? So that should just work naturally. So the current takes us nicely around here. Unfortunately, we do have to do a little bit. There's an awkward shuffle over here, but then the water should take us down to the bottom part. It's a, it's a bit of a slow descent, honestly, but there we go. That's, that's pretty good. So we have two functioning slides. We have most of the left side of the house done. We just have a few more details to do, actually. Okay, so the next thing that we will do is the front porch, I think. So that requires us to extend the platform that we have at the front of the build forwards a little bit. We want to add one, two, three rows of light grey, extending from the width of the front of the house. So it'll make sense when you look at it. So. We want to take the left and right side of the house here, and we want to extend this forward so that there is in total five rows of light gray, just like that. Actually, I think what we will do is fill in these two corners using light gray concrete as well, so that we have added a bit of width to the porch area. So now that we have made our porch wider, we are going to use our yellow concrete and extending inwards diagonally from the two outer corners of the porch here, we want to extend inward by one diagonally and then place four, one, two, three, four yellow concretes on both sides, so one, two, three, four. We then want to place yellow concrete around the outside of the fourth yellow concrete we want to place yellow concrete along the outside and then join the yellow concrete together and then extend inwards and join to the house we are then going to place a layer of red concrete around the inside of the top of the yellow concrete like this so this is above and inside and then I want to add another layer of red concrete around the inside of the layer of red. So just like this to shrink it a little bit. And then I want to fill in the center of the empty shape that is left. So above this, we're just going to fill the center of the empty shape that is left. And we will end up with this. And that is looking pretty good. So... 
Uh, what we can also do, just on the left side here, we can extend a little bit backwards. Actually, we don't need to do that because the back of the house looks good enough already. I don't think that we're going to add any, any little extras with the porch. So this is the house majoritively made. However, we do have a little bit more to do. Grab yourself some birch fence and work your way over to the left side of the house and come all the way up to the kind of like the roof area here well what we want to do and there's not really a particularly easy way to describe this to be honest with you but where the roof here begins to connect to the main roof the side roof to the main roof so this particular block we want to place a row of one two three yellow concrete and we want to do this on the back as well so like one two three hopefully you can see where where that is well, we want to join these yellow concretes together as best we can. We can even destroy that block. And then back to the actual house itself, like this. Fill the center of this in using red concrete, like so. And then add fence all the way around this. We might even have to add an additional yellow, like here and here, actually. Just so that it integrates a little bit better. And there is just like a weird random platform up here. I think it might also be an entrance, but... I, uh, it exists on the actual building, so I, I figured that we, we would certainly add it. <laughs> we could even extend this outwards an additional row. I don't think it'd look, it'd look weird. It might look a little bit better then. I think if we, do, maybe if we just extend this roof outwards just an additional row, then it, it might look a little bit better. I think it does. It helps to, uh... I, th I think it helps a little bit. I don't know if we then need to do that on the right side as well. I don't think so, because the, the house isn't exactly symmetrical anyway. Well, the next thing that we're going to do is there is a little Mickey... Um, I forgot what these things are called, actually. The the things that, like, you know, the, the wind, like, spins them. A weather vane, that's it, actually. I can't believe I remember that. So there's a little Mickey Mouse weather vane up at the top of the house. And directly on top of the uh, apex of the front of the house, the main part of the roof, we want to place a black stone wall, red never brick wall on top, polished black stone wall left and right, black concrete on top of the uh, the never wall, and then extend a black concrete up and outwards diagonally on both sides. And there we have a little Mickey Mouse weather vane. Next, we have to make a giant silhouette of Mickey Mouse's head. This is made using black concrete and a little bit of yellow concrete. There's a giant ring that goes around the silhouette, which is kind of like a fusion between Mickey Mouse and Sonic. But we want to find the very center of the roof. This is quite easy to do, as if you come up to the top of the roof, you simply have to find the block that lines up with the middle part of the roof on the right side of the build, and also the left side of the build, and there you go, there's a the center of the roof. Well, from the center of the roof, we're going to destroy that, replace it with black concrete. So, now that we've got the center part of the roof marked out, we are now going to build both the left and right side of Mickey's head simultaneously. You'll see what I mean. So take the left and right sides and extend the black concrete block outwards by three. One, two, three. And then up one, left one, up by four. One, two, three, four. So this opposite side, out by one, two, three. Up one, right one, up by four. One, two, three, four. We then want to extend the fourth blocks out by two. One, two. Up one. Out one. Up by three. One, two, three. Come to the opposite side, and we're doing this at the same time again. So out by one, two. Up one. Out one. Up by three. One, two, three. Extend the black concrete blocks in. Up. In by three. One, two, three. And once again, we'll just come over here. In, up, in by three. And then we want to extend these blocks down, right, down, two, down, in, down, two. And then simply just connect them together. And that will be perfect. So, 
What we now want to do, now that we have made kind of like the silhouette of Mickey Mouse's head, is we want to add a bit of 3D to it. So we're going to fill in, on the front of it at the very least, and on the back of it, we're going to fill in the center part, the bottom part of the head, using black concrete like so. And we are going to create kind of like a circular shape using the black. Now, it's very difficult for, for me to see this with the brightness of my monitor, I'm going to be honest with you, but we want to do the same thing on the back. It's even harder on the back. It is even darker, but hopefully we should manage to do this. <laughs> we should hopefully manage to fill this in. I, I really wish it was a different color. It's so difficult, but um, there we go. And then we just have to add another row above the center here. And we have, actually, that needs to be a bit higher, doesn't it? There we go. Just had to check with the front, but we kind of just want to extend the front and back just outwards like this it just it just makes it look a little bit 3d it makes it look a little bit nice and then all we have to do is just kind of like fill the ears in using the black and that they, those will look a little bit flat and then we'll do the same thing just here on the left we'll get those filled in using the black and the end result should be that's looking pretty good isn't it so there we go so we have a big giant mickey mouse head uh silhouette just on top of the fun house but there is a giant gold ring that encompasses this so the ring actually starts on the ears the top of the ears we come to the outward top corner here one row inwards we want to place a row of one two three four yellow concrete and one two three four yellow concrete and simply extend those up join them together in the middle well, underneath the ears on the sides, so the actual, like, cutout of the corners here, we want to place a row of one, two, three, four, five yellow concrete extending down, in, and then down two, in, down, and then in to join back to the house, like this. So, on the opposite side also, we take the little cutout, we go one, two, three, four, five, and then in, down, two, in and then down and then in like this so we'll end up so this is this is where it, it kind of like shines so from here that looks really really good and beyond that ladies and gentlemen there's not really too much to add to the house if you want you can add a little bit of a podzol uh you can add a little bit of a podzol path as the the fun house kind of does have and it kind of just like curves outwards in a, a little bit so if you did want to add just a little bit of something you definitely could and it's also surrounded by a lot of trees so feel free to plant a bunch of trees around this and i mean then then it's kind of complete but those those things are absolutely optional with the pods all and the trees like it's it's completely dependent upon where you are going to be placing this build for yourself so i'll kind of leave these specifics up to you so integrate it into your landscapes depending upon where you're actually placing this and that's a tutorial complete i i hope that you've enjoyed it thank you so much for watching everybody i do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial if you have please subscribe to the channel click that little bell next to the subscription button that'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one goodbye